Durham continues to grapple with gun violence. The county's violence interrupter program known as Bull City United says they're working to curb violence through meditation. And tonight, Durham County Commissioners are expected to approve more money for the program, but some people in the community say they want to know how successful this group has been so far. Here's CBS's 17's Crystal Price getting answers. From the deadly shooting on Highway 55 on Sunday, the families having to duck in their own homes at the sound of gunfire. Sometimes it's like a war zone, and we're, we're tired of it. People in Durham just want these shootings to stop. One group working to address this is Bull City United. It's a group of individuals who have gone through the criminal justice system and are now working as violence interrupters. They say through mediations, they've been able to prevent shootings. Once Bull City United expanded, we've seen a decrease in um, gun violence in these neighborhoods. A report presented to city council shows that since the group expanded from seven members to 25, they held more than 1,300 mediations in the last fiscal year. And in two of the six neighborhoods they work in, there were zero shootings from April to June. You put your very lives on the line. City council members praised the group for their efforts. And know that you're making a difference. Uh, keep doing the work. We need to know the work that they're doing and see the work that they're doing. You know, not just hearing it at a city council meeting. Sharon Strudwick lives near Fayetteville Street and Cornwallis Road, one of the six areas the violence interrupters are working in. But she says she hasn't seen them in action and says the shootings haven't stopped. If they're getting paid by the city, then they have to be accountable for every red cent. Monday night, Durham County Commissioners are expected to approve more than $200,000 in funding for this program. But Strudwick is asking for more transparency from the violence interrupters. So they need to be accessible. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. A county spokesperson tells us Bull City United does engage with the community regularly, but they also say there's a lot of work they do behind the scenes that cannot be made public.